So this is money day eight for year one and two. Today we're going to be finding the difference between two items. So you're going to find the difference in cost between two items. You can also solve one step problems to calculate the difference between two amounts and so use your problem solving and reasoning skills to solve problems. So we are going to use a bar model to help us. OK, so we have got the um, we've got 30 pence here, OK, which is our total. And we have got 10 pence here. So the orange is going to equal how much? OK, so you need to do 30 pence. What's the difference between the 30 pence and the 10 pence? So if you start at 10, count up in tens to 30, 20, 30, that's 20p. So 10p plus 20p equals 30p. So if that was on the bar model, this part of the bar would be 20p. So you can see part. Let me get my highlighter back. There's one part. There's two parts which total 30p and there's the whole part of your bar model. OK, so we want to buy a, a donut for 35p and we also want to buy a cake. If we buy those, the total cost is 75 pence and we've already spent 35p on the donut. So we need to work out what the difference is. So we can count up in tens from 35 up to 75. So we've got 35 in your head. We've got 45, 55, 65, 75. So that's 40 pence. 35 pence add 40 pence equals 75 pence. This time we're going to buy a cookie and a gingerbread man. The cookie costs £1.25. and pence. The gingerbread man costs £1.50. and pence. So we need to find out what the difference is okay so if we spent one pound we need to count from 25 pence up to 50 pence so if we count up 25 in our heads 35 45 so that's 20p that's 20 so let's count from 45 46 47 48 49 50 OK, so that's 25 pence. One pound and 25 pence plus 25 pence equals one pound and 50 pence. OK, let's have a look. How many less does pounds less does Ben have? So let's count. We've got two two pound coins and three one pound coins. So we've got two, four, five, six, seven pounds i just want to remind myself so i've got seven pounds and then we've got counting in twos two four six eight ten so tam has ten pounds and the question is how many pounds less does ben have so let's see what the difference is between seven and ten so put seven in your head eight, nine, ten. And that's three pounds less. So Ben has three pounds less than Tam. Now we want to find out how many pounds more does Beth have. So let's count Jack's in two. So we've got four two pound coins and two one pound coins. Two, four, six, eight, nine ten so jack has got ten pounds let's see how many beth's got she's got a five pound note a two pound coin so we've got five seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen beth has got fifteen pounds Jack has got 10 pounds. So put 10 in your head and use your fingers to count to 15. 10 in your head, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So how many more pounds does Beth have? 
She has five pounds more. Beth has five pounds more than Jack. So now we want to know how many pounds less does Jack have. So let's count in fives our five pound notes. Five, ten, fifteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. So Jack has got twenty-three pounds. Let's count five, ten, fifteen. 17, 19, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So Sue has got 25 pounds. We want to know how many pounds less. So let's count, put 23 in your head and you're going to count on your fingers to 25. Put 23 in your head, 23, 24, 25. So Jack has two pound less than Sue. Mo has one pound and fifty p. Asha has one pound and sixty five p. How much more money does Asha have than Mo? Okay, so we want to find they've both got here one pound. One of them's got one pound and fifty pence. One of them's got one pound and sixty-five pence. So count from fifty to sixty-five. Why don't we do that in tens? Okay, in fives, let's do it in fives. We've got fifty in your head. Fifty-five, sixty, sixty-five. And three fives are fifteen P. It's fifteen P. So Asha has fifteen pence more than Mo. Rob has one pound and seventy five P. Gina has two pound and twenty five P. How much more money does Gina have than Rob? OK, so Let's round it up to two pounds. So if we were going to, we've got 75p, we want to make that 100p. So we're going to have 85, 95, that's 20, 100, that's 25p to make two pounds. And then there's another 25p. So what is 25p add, sorry for the writing, 25p we're doubling that 20 add 20 is 40 5 add 5 is 10 so the answer is Gina has 50p more than Rob Tam says I have one pound and 40p Dom says I have one pound and 20p Tam says she has 30p more than Dom. Is Tam correct? How do you know? If we were to count from 20, if we put 20 in our heads and then count to 30 and then to 40, how much have we counted? There's 20p difference, isn't there? So Tam has 20p more than Dom. One pound and forty pence minus one pound and twenty pence equals twenty pence. Sue has ten p and Che says I have thirty p. Both children have a ten p coin. Che only has silver coins. What other silver coins could Che have? Now think about the fact you could be using a five p's. You've got ten p's. OK, what combinations of coins could you use for the five P's and the 10 P's to total 30 P? Remembering he does have one, at least one 10 P coin. Have a see and think if you can work those through. So any combination of silver coins to make 20 P. So we could have four five P's because we count four, four lots of five, five, ten. 15, 20. You could have two 5Ps and one 10P. 
he could have two 10p's. No, he could have three 10p's, sorry. Or he could have one 20p and a 10p. So your task today is to find the difference like we were doing. OK, so here is the whole part of your bar model. This shows the whole amount. So the whole amount is 20p. The apple cost 10p. So you've got 20p. Take away 10. Equals 10p. So 10p add 10p equals 20p. Then you've got some problems where Rob has one pound and 40 pence. Asha has one pound and 60 pence. How much more money does Asha have than Rob? So you want to find out the difference. OK, so they've both got one pound. What's the difference between 40 and 60? Put 40 in your head. 50, 60. So that's 20p. Asha has 20p more than Rob. Have a go. See how you get on.